Yo, what is good, YouTube? It's your boy Carson F fans, and today, as y'all can see by the title, I have the top three best builds in next gen NBA 2K21. If you just got the console or you're thinking about getting it for Christmas, I got y'all, man. I got y'all with the best builds in NBA 2K21. Just make sure you watch this whole video through because I'm gonna be explaining how to make this build, the badges, every single aspect of the build. So just watch the whole video through so you don't miss a single detail. But now let's jump straight into it. Alright y'all jumping straight into the first build. This is the build that I'm currently rocking and the one that I literally almost have maxed out already and I'm loving it. It's getting contact dunk, shooting three, speed boost and all that. So first off, you guys are going to want to make him a point guard. Right or left handed obviously doesn't matter like I always say. For the height you guys want to go 6'6". Six, six. And then for the weight, you guys want to go minimum wingspan, seven foot. Now we can hop into the attributes. All right, you guys, this is what the build's going to look like when you're completely done. You're going to have two finishing, 19 shooting, 15 playmaking, and 18 defense. The only thing that I kind of regret about this build is, is that I put way too much vertical because you don't need all that vertical. You like literally don't need it. I'd probably take some off and put some on like post control or put some for playmakes and you get a couple more playmaking or I'd probably do finishing though because I want to be able to get Hall of Fame posterizer, but I'm not going to remake this build, but that's personally what I would do. Moving on to takeovers. There's another thing I messed up on is that I chose extreme clamps for my first one. I should have chose limitless range first, then extreme clamps. But just for the sake of the video, I'm gonna do extreme clamps first. If I were you, I would do limitless range first. But like I said, it is, it's really your choice. So extreme clamps, secondary, limitless range. As you guys can see, you guys make a two way scoring machine. But now I'm gonna show you guys the badges to run on this build to make it absolutely perfect. All right, you guys, my my player builder is working right now, so I got kind of blessed. So I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to run when I get completely maxed. For finishing, I already have it, but I'm going to be running silver posterizer. For shooting, this is what I'm going to run. Pause the video if you need to. Playmaking, this is what I'm going to run. And, I mean, hands for days, like... You can really, I mean, I'd probably go, I'm probably going to go down on this. I don't know why, but I've seen a lot of people not run handles for days on Hall of Fame, probably just because they play park. But if you're playing like park, you can probably turn this down to like silver, gold. And then if you play a uh, record, probably have to turn it up to Hall of Fame. Moving on to defense, uh, I'm going to be rocking Hall of Fame Clams, Gold Intimidator, Gold Rim Protector, Silver Rebound Chaser, Silver Pick Dodger, and Hall of Fame Ankle Braces, because we all know you need ankle braces. And yeah, now we can move on to the second build. All right, you guys, for the second build, you guys want to go small forward, right hand, and number 77. If you guys see the 77, you guys probably already know where this is going. Height, you want to go 6'6", 180 weight, and 7 foot wingspan. Now we can get straight into the attributes. All right, you guys, this is what the build's going to look like when you're completely done with it. And yes, it is the Luka build, and I stand by it. I think it's a great build, and I'm probably going to, I know, you know what, no, I am going to make this build. It's an absolute W, and I highly recommend it. And like I said, you guys are going to get five finishing, 21 shooting, 18 playmaking, and 17 defense. I mean, I don't really know what else to say, y'all. That's I'm just spitting facts out here, and that's it's, it's a great build. For primary takeover, I'm going to go limit this range. And secondary, I'm probably going to go easy blow buys. And as you guys can see, you guys make a shot creator. And I hope my, my player builder is still working, but I'm going to try and show you all the badges right now. All right, you guys, like I said, I'm on the two-way scoring machine because the my player builder is being weird right now. But so basically we have five finishing. So basically what I would have done is I would have gone Hall of Fame posterizer and probably bronze slithery finisher. And then we have 21 shooting. I'm going to rock all these badges that I have right here. And then I'm probably going to go, I'll probably go gold stop and pop. And then I'll probably do like bronze uh, dead eye. Probably, yeah, that sounds good. Probably like bronze dead eye. And like I was saying, you guys, I am on the two way scoring machine because I don't know what's wrong with the My Player Builder. I can't get to the badge screen. It gives me like a negative overall. I don't know what's up with it. But anyway, I have 18 playmaking on the shot creator Luca badge. So I'd be running this. And then for 14, for, I'd be two more badges. I'd get Hall of Fame Unpluckable. Then I have four more. And with those Hall of Fame, I'd either do Floor General or Dimer. And that's the 18 playmaking. And then for 17, I'm probably going to run these badges right here. 
I'll probably go Gold Intimidator, that's 12. Then I'll go Hall of Fame Rim Protector, that'll be 16. And then I'll have two more. I'll probably do something like Puppy Pick Dodger or Pogo Stick or something like that. I'm not 100% sure, but that's most likely what I would run on the Shock Creator slash Luca build. And that's what I think would suit it the best. All right, you guys, the number one build right now on NBA 2K21 next gen, in my personal opinion, the number one build. You want to put the position for power forward, right or left hand, doesn't matter. For the height, 6'8". For the weight, 218. I'm going to get 218 exactly. For the wingspan, 7'5". And I'm going to show you guys the attributes. Stay tuned. All right, you guys, that's what the build's going to look like when it's completely done. You're going to have 20 finishing, 16 shooting, 20 playmaking, and 24 defense. Guys, I can't make this up. Literally can't make this up. Look how many badges this build gets. And that's why I have it ranked so high. I have it, well, I have it ranked number one for a reason. Because it gets this many badges and you'll be able to dominate the competition. And then moving on for takeovers, for this build, since it doesn't have like, because shooting is easy this year, but since it's not the best, I'm probably gonna go easy blow buys first. And then I've heard a lot about spotted precision, so maybe that, or limit this range. Like we can keep doing that, keep, keep the flow going. You know what I'm saying? Keep, don't switch it up. But then you guys make a playmaking three level score and I'm going to try and show you guys the badges. Hopefully the my player builder doesn't mess up again, but we'll have to see it. But let's jump straight into the badges. All right, you guys, we did get lucky in the my player builder is working for the badges. I don't know why it doesn't work on the Luca build. Like it literally works on like every other. Boring. For the finishing, this is what I'm going to run because, you know, we're going to be a little bit smaller. So we got to have the Giant Slayer, Fearless Finisher and all that. But I mean, sometimes we're just going to go up there and just yam it on, dunk on their head. And that's why we got Hall of Fame, Posterizer, Shooting. It's basically the same stuff. I, I mean, I haven't experimented too, too much with the shooting badges. I just put on the stuff that I know is going to work. Playmaking, it. look at this, y'all. This is so tough for a power forward. You get 20. You get gold ankle breaker. You could change it for tight handles. You never know. You could put on space creator if you wanted to. It really depends who your teammates are. And for defense, you're an absolute beast. You'll be able to get box. You'll be able to get rebound chaser. You can ISO with this build. You play. You'll be able to play the ISO too because you got the Hall of Fame Intimidator. You can bump up the chase down. You, this build can do everything, y'all. That's why I have it listed as number one. All right, you guys, this is going to wrap up today's video on the top three best builds on NBA 2K21 next year. And if you guys watch this whole video through, make sure you guys put Puma Mania in the comments so I know you guys are loyal. I'm going to have all my links in the description if you guys want to follow my Twitter, join my Discord, anything like that. And that is going to wrap up today's video, you guys. I love you all. Peace.